how lightning and solar storms can be used to map magma beneath Yellowstone. Through magnetodalaric imaging, which provides information about the amount and location of subsurface melt. The Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles is a weekly column written by scientists and collaborators at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. This week's contribution comes from Ninfa Bennington, a geophysicist with the U.S. Geological Survey at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. The Yellowstone Caldera is one of the world's largest volcanic systems. Past volcanic activity in the caldera has ranged from lava flows to massive ash explosions, and the region's last eruption, a lava flow, occurred more than 70,000 years ago. In a recent study, USGS researchers with collaborators at Oregon State University and the University of Wisconsin-Madison used a tool called magnetodalurics to image where and how much magma is currently stored beneath the Yellowstone caldera. Magnetodalurics is a geophysical method that uses variations in the Earth's natural electromagnetic field, typically caused by lightning and solar storms, as a signal to image the subsurface. The technique identifies structures within the Earth that are good conductors of electricity. Magma stored underground is an excellent conductor of electricity, making magnetodalurics an ideal tool for mapping the location of magma distributed beneath an active volcano. English Using magnetodalaric data collected across the Yellowstone caldera in the summers of 2017 and 2021, geophysicists modeled where magma is stored beneath the region as deep as 47 kilometers 30 miles, below the surface. At shallow depths, approximately 4 to 11 kilometers 2.5 to 7 miles, beneath the Yellowstone caldera, four distinct reservoirs of rhyolite magma storage were identified. Rhyolite is a high silica composition and has fed explosive eruptions and lava flows from the Yellowstone system for the past approximately 2 million years. Of the four rhyolite reservoirs identified, three have total volumes comparable to previous small volcanic eruptions at Yellowstone. The fourth reservoir volume is similar to that of the Mesa Falls Tuff, which erupted during the formation of the Henry's Fort Caldera the smallest of the three major Yellowstone caldera forming eruptions, about 1.3 million years ago. However, the magma storage areas imaged by magnetodalaric studies are not completely molten, and instead consist of a solid crystalline slurry interspersed with liquid rhyolite magma. If such pockets of liquid magma were well connected and had sufficient volume, a volcanic eruption could occur. However, the magnetodalaric data indicate that the concentration of magma stored in each of these four reservoirs is too low to trigger an eruption at this time. In this respect, the results of the magnetodalaric studies are very similar to studies of the Yellowstone magmatic system using seismic data, which also indicate a low overall proportion of liquid magma in the subsurface.